Hi, it's Miss Clark, and uh, today I am doing your Friday um, math lesson, and it is Module 3, Lesson 4, and it's called Interpreting Bar Graphs. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's been a long day. All right, so our I can statement is I can read a bar graph and use it to solve problems. Bar graphs are so much fun, you guys. No, really, I love bar graphs. Okay. So now it says, show the butterfly data in the bar graph. How many butterflies do children see? Okay. So now, the problem says, Jan and her friends saw some butterflies. Jan saw five. Rich saw three. Yao saw four. Oh, that's all. Show this data in the bar graph, then find how many butterflies children saw. So now we, that means we got to total it up. Okay, so it says, okay, so y'all saw four, so I'm going to color this in like one, two, three, four, and that's where you stop. As you can see, I did not do that right. Take a little bit off there. Do not go any further than four because... They only saw, y'all yeah, only saw four butterflies, okay? So now, Rich saw three butterflies. So I'm going to color that in. So we're going to do one, two, three, and stop. Don't go any further than this three right here, okay? You're lining them up. Then, it says Jan saw five. So we got to do... One, two, three, four, five. We're coloring in five boxes. Okay. So the number of boxes corresponds or matches up with how many butterflies they saw. Okay. So now we got to find how many total there were. Well, we could write an equation or we could count up the boxes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So it turns out there are. 12 butterflies. Yay! So go ahead and write that down. Okay, I'm assuming you wrote that down. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so Tyler recorded the favorite vegetable of his classmates in a bar graph. Okie dokie. Um, favorite vegetable. Yummy. It says a bar graph uses bars to show data. Well, Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four bars right here, kind of like what we did before, except they're already colored for us. So which bar shows the vegetable chosen by the most classmates? Okay, we have corn, peas, carrots, and broccoli. Okay, which bar shows the vegetable chosen by the most classmates? So the number of classmates is right here. So if we go up, it should be the tallest bar. So you're going to circle the words, the tallest bar right here. I like multiple choice, except you only have two choices. All right, then it says, how can you use the data in the bar graph to solve problems? Okay, well, how many classmates chose peas or carrots? Remember, or means you got to add it together this time. So peas, we had five. It lines up, right, with five. So that means there are five peas. And then we had four carrots. So five plus four is nine. Okay, so go ahead and write that down. Then it says, how many fewer classmates chose, oop, I gotta move my little, nope, I can't do that. Gotta move my little uh, uh, toolbar out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, how many fewer classmates chose corn than broccoli? Okay, corn, there were three, oops, it won't let me write any lower. <gasps> Oh, that's a ripoff. Okay, I'm going to have to scroll up. Okay. All right, so corn, we had three. <clears throat> oh, why does it not let me write? That's strange. I guess i got to put it back down again. It doesn't like being in the wrong, wrong one. Okay, three. Okay. And then <coughs> broccoli, excuse me, my allergies are acting up. And then broccoli was six, so you had six minus three, which is three. 
This is how you tell how many a bar stands for in a bar graph. Well, you count up and you find the little numbers that it's next to. Okay. All right. I'm assuming you wrote that all down. I'm going to clear the screen and we're going to move on to the next one. Step it out. Okay. So the bar graph shows the number of soccer goals Annie and her friends scored. Oh boy. We get to look at the bar graph again. Okay. So Annie... We find that she lines up with the number five. She had five goals. Okay. Isaac had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven goals. Rob had three. He lines up with the three. He's like lined up with it like this. See? And then we have Dawn who did nine goals. Whoa. That's a lot of goals. All right, so now that we have our information written down, we can answer our questions. It says, use the data from the bar graph to solve the problem. So how many more goals did Dawn score than Annie? Okay, Dawn has nine minus Annie, which is five. That's four. Perfect. All right, who scored the fewest goals? So who did the worst job? Looks like it was Rob. So we're going to write R-O-B. At least his name is short, you know. And then how many fewer goals did Rob score than Isaac? Okay, so Isaac had 7 minus 3, which is 4. So he had 4. All right, so go ahead and fill in all your information. Good. I'm going to clear the screen. And I'm going to move on to the next page, which is the On Your Own page. Oh, smoothies. Oh, man, I love smoothies. <laughs> this, this thing's making me hungry. All right. Now, you're going to use the bar graph and just talk about favorite smoothies. And remember, when it says strawberry or blueberry is something or something, that means both. Okay, you're adding them together. And it says how many more they usually means subtraction. Now, an open-ended one. Again, it says write a new question that you could use answer using the graph. I'm making this one extra credit for my kids because it's pretty tricky. And right now, I want to focus mainly on the skill of being able to read a bar graph and be able to um, put the information and make sense of it. It doesn't matter if they can write a new question. That's, that's extra. I like, I want to know the fact that they can look at a bar graph and interpret it and see it as it is and use information. Okay. So, um, that's my little spiel. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great day. Oh, by the way, don't forget to do the, I'm in learning mindset. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Oh, and happy Friday. Bye.